Welcome to the VFL Season 5 Finale, but we are not doing VFL Tier 2 because that has been cancelled for poor attendance. And there we go, we are, we are champions in the strangest fashion, we're not actually racing. However, we are racing in Tier 1, so we're racing with the, uh, with the big boys now. And uh, obviously we're going to be doing Tier 1 for next season. And I was like, yeah, you're going to race because poor attendance. And I was like, yeah, why not? Let's give it a go and uh, just try to get used to what we're going to be dealing with next season so across the line on our qualifying lap and it's actually been pretty good I mean it's, it's fifth so top five qualifying on our return to the to the first tier I mean if you would have seen our last kind of run in the first tier you would have known that it was pretty bad so yeah already already looking good I think that's the best qualifying I've ever had in in the first tier so yeah that, that's great awesome stuff so this is a sprint weekend so this is a sprint race so five red lights. And away we go. Quite a long hold though. We've had a pretty decent start. Got some championships uh, still being decided in this tier. So we don't want to get too involved. But we go around the outside of one of the Alpha Taris up into turn one. So we're up into fourth now. We've had a very, very good start. And uh, again, not really too much expectation here. A top five finish would be awesome. I don't think I could ask for anything more than that. Well, that's what I thought, at least. So yeah, decent start, haven't been overtaken, we've, we've gained a place. There's a little bit of contact at the back there. It's all good, we are still still alive, which, to be honest with you, I was a bit worried we wouldn't be at this point, but yeah, all good. No pressure, kind of just enjoying it and just seeing where we can, seeing what we can do. Gives us a really good understanding for next season, of course, virtual safety car deployed on lap two and, and then there uh, away it goes and there's actually been a drive through penalty for Tom Taylor I think one of the championship contenders so obviously that's Delta related I, I assume and Oven Curry what, what a name it's got past Tom Taylor in the Ferrari we are going to close up now as well looking for a good exit he's kind of lost the back end a little bit there quite a tricky um, chicane that is so I definitely struggle a lot through that anyway on the ERS, no DRS just yet, we're alongside coming into this newly reformed corner and he's going to try hanging it around the outside but just on the exit of the corner I think he just loses it and kind of goes into the side of us so quite easy to spin there I think that happens a lot, I did that a lot during the, my kind of practice for this race but either way, we're up into P3 so we are up into the podium places which I don't think I've ever ran in the podium places in a VFL race uh, in a tier 1 race anyway so this is awesome stuff and uh, again not far away from the top 2 talking about the top 2 the other Ferrari spins as well the last corner and goes straight into the wall and that promotes us up into second place and only a second behind the leader but unfortunately even though we had DRS on multiple laps we just couldn't get that opportunity to find a way past the leader so Alvin Curry there in the Alpine is going to win the sprint race. We're going to come home second, which is awesome. I mean, I've never had a top three result in tier one before. So, but you know, I want to do it in the main race, not really in the sprint race. It doesn't matter too much to me. But yeah, really promising sign for sure. So we're going to be lining up second for the for the main race, obviously, because that's how it works. And as the lights come on, five red lights. And away we go, trying to get the jump on the Alpine. We've got ERS now deployed, deployed up into turn one. We're going to go past for the lead, but he sticks it around the outside and gets us back. So we took the lead very, very briefly there for a second. And now we've got the McLaren of Swiss who's trying to get up along the inside. And uh, we're thinking about blocking it into turn, into this hairpin, but he's going to go down the inside. We think we're going to try to get a cut back, but he kind of just does a Verstappen-esque move there just forces us wide, just cuts off our, our runoff of course, so you know, P3 it's alright, it's alright, I wanted to get the Alpine to be honest on the first lap, and we're now we're stuck behind the McLaren, very good position of the car there from him, just not allowing us to get past, our has has just gone through me, so I'm not really sure what happened there, but thankfully we're not dead, and trying to come back at the McLaren now, just marginally on the track, using that ERS up the inside again, coming into this new long left hander it's, again this corner is so easy to spin you have to be so careful on the throttle here i find or maybe it's just me but it seems to happen quite a lot now, anyway we're up into p2 again so we're, we're back in the position where we started 
and the Swiss is just trying to look for a move down the inside there, puts a bit of pressure on us to make a little bit of a mistake, but it's all good, and virtual safety car deployed on lap one, which actually turned into a full safety car. So we stuck behind that for a few laps. And then, just wait for up and curry to go, he goes quite early, and he pulls away trying to extend that gap. We've had an okay start, it's not too bad, it's about as good as it's going to get. And I struggled quite a lot trying to get those tyres back into temperature. As we cut ahead to lap number 9, you see I think the Steph there has been, been lapped and just trying to unlap himself uh, over the Alpine to go through a huge dive bomb there. And uh, cost the Alpine a bit of time, which is good for us. And luckily he doesn't make it as difficult for us as he did for the Alpine. But yeah, just a mistake there, just going way too wide, missing my breaking point completely. And now we've got Swiss behind us again in the McLaren. And of course he's going to have DRS now as well. So he's going to go to the outside, so we defend the inside. We make a little bit of contact there as we come together halfway through the corner. Luckily he doesn't spin out. Maybe my fault there for just going in a little bit. Maybe it was a bit too late and not alongside enough. But it's all good. We, none of us has crashed and we're still in the race. And then there we go, yellow flag, safety car deployed again. So the second safety car in the first 10 laps of this race. We're going to pit as well going on to the hard tyres. This is a strategy that I don't think was the best strategy to pick, potentially. But anyway, safety car will be coming in. So we've got uh, Tom Taylor behind as well. We obviously had that spin in the sprint race. He's surging through the field now. So that's someone we've got to be very careful of. Of course, a very, very quick driver and on those tyres as well. I think he's only just switched to them as well. So that should be interesting to see how that plays out. Now we're going back to green flag race, we've not had the best of restarts. Of course on these new hard tyres, I hadn't done any running on the hard tyres at all, so I wasn't really, I mean I know they're not going to have much grip. Tom Taylor, he's up in the third, he's just gone diving past us, you know, I thought there's no point battling him too hard, because he's just going to hold us both up, and I'm losing a bit of time to the Alpine head if I can get behind him, use the DRS, and let's maybe use him to try to catch the Alpine up in front, and he's in a good position until the safety car came out once again, so three safety cars in 15 laps, which is uh, quite unusual to have this many, I think, but it's all good. Uh, yeah, safety car restart again, nothing uh, particular to talk about, apart from the McLaren Binders, who's had a very good restart and giving us all kinds of pressure now as we're trying to fend off this podium place. The finish on the podium here in tier 1 would be an awesome result, I mean I'd, I'd like to win, I feel like we definitely have the pace, or you know definitely have the pace to win, but yeah, let's just see what we can do, again very similar to lap 1, McLaren goes up the inside, we slip, slip behind using ERS, and uh, not really getting alongside, so probably using ERS as well, we're not going to go for a dive, just stay behind, again just trying to catch those two in front, because I was more thinking about the win here than the podium. I'm just trying to, you know, pull each other a bit closer because they are starting to get away a little bit now. On lap 19, trying to close it on the McLaren. And there we go, safety car again. So, what's that? The fourth safety car now? Already fourth or fifth? Fifth? I think I can't even remember at this point. But way too many safety cars in this race. It was very frustrating driving behind that bloody Mercedes. And uh, anyway, here we go. Back to racing, we've got a battle for the lead up ahead there with Ivan Curry and Tom Taylor. And so far, it looks like a pretty clean, clean battle. We're in fourth. Behind us, we have Nice Job and Tristan who have pitted for the soft tyres. So, quite a bold move there. I wish I would have done that as well because it looked like it was a pretty good thing to do. And there goes Nice Job, who I think is championship leader. He completely flies down the inside again, no point flying him too hard. It's just going to lose us way too much time. So let's try to pull ourselves along with him to those front three. I mean, we're down to fifth now, which is, it's good. It's good. But honestly, I, I think I'd be disappointed if I didn't get anything, anything, less than a, anything less than a podium would be disappointing. On lap 28 now. And we've managed to catch up a bit more to Nice Job. He did actually pull away a little bit. But I think those soft tyres are just starting to go off a cliff. And uh, just check him here, very similar to the sprint race, 
He's lost the back end there again, so again, quite a tricky corner. There seems to be a lot of people making that mistake, and a mistake that I've made a lot as well, but it, it doesn't matter because for us, we're up into P4, we've got a nice gap behind, and it's last lap now, and we're hoping there's going to be a little bit of contact up ahead to make, you know, to give us a podium. We want that podium. And as I say that, Oven Curry from the lead of the race in the Alpine has spun, looks like, on his own. He's had an absolutely amazing race. You know, he's pretty much been spot on the whole the whole race on the last lap. I'm not sure what it was that got to him. Maybe the pressure, maybe it was contact, I'm not too sure. But yeah, shame for him. But it, it promotes us up into into the third place, into the podium places. We're not going to catch the top two. But around the final corner we go, it's going to be third place, our first podium in tier one. And well, it almost means more than a win, I think, in tier two. So awesome. Awesome stuff, a great result, and uh, yeah, things are looking quite bright for going into the uh, tier one for the next season. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, yeah, so yeah, that's three weeks away, so we've got a little bit of a gap now before our next race. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this. It's been it's been awesome. I really have enjoyed racing this season, and uh, yeah, I can't even I can't wait even more to race next season. So thank you guys for watching, uh, for the continued support. It's much appreciated. And uh, I'll hopefully see you all in next season.